Hello guys, we'll talk about the concept of VLANs. To appreciate VLANs better, we'll first of all see some common problems on a switched network. The switch, as we have seen in the previous video, is a network device primarily designed to process incoming and outgoing frames on a LAN. As much as it is an intelligent device, it may also cause known problems on the network. One of such problems is a layer 2 loop. This happens when a frame traverses the same node or link more than once as it is sent to a destination device. A ring topology such as this one is a perfect example. Broadcast or unknown unicast traffic could be flooded across this loop causing broadcast storms, high CPU resource utilization, MAC address database flapping, high utilization of network bandwidth, and duplicate frame reception by hosts connected to switches in this loop. Depending on the actual scenario, technologies like the spanning tree protocol, link or port aggregation, stacking, and MLAG can be implemented to solve this problem. However, the layer 2 loop is outside the scope of this course. The second problem which in fact brings us to the importance of VLANs is firstly the requirement to segment end stations. You may choose to physically separate the network but that is just additional cost of switches and greater management complexity. Another consideration is when a flat network scales with increasing number of switches and connected terminals, further expanding the layer 2 broadcast domain. The requirements for segmentation becomes more apparent. Imagine a building with multiple floors or even a large campus network with only a single broadcast domain. It becomes much harder to trace faults when they happen, or even worse, defining policies for varying types of terminals and users on the network. This is of course in addition to the obvious resource utilization problems caused by broadcast storms, which may also lead to poor security. At layer 2, the VLAN technology was designed to solve this problem. VLAN is an acronym for Virtual Local Area Network. It is designed to logically split a large broadcast domain into smaller broadcast domains in order to isolate traffic between them, thereby improving security and reducing network and device resource waste. Before VLANs are implemented on a network, all end devices connected to a LAN switch form a part of the same broadcast domain, which means they can receive the broadcast and all known unicast traffic flooded by the switch. With VLAN implementations, however, connected users and terminals can be split into separate logical LANs called VLANs. In this way, broadcasts on one VLAN segment will not be flooded to other VLAN segments, and these segments at layer 2 are completely isolated from one another. VLAN is a standard technology defined and documented in the IEEE 802.1Q specification. The first publication, titled Virtual Bridge Local Area Network, was released in 1998. Subsequently, this standard was revised to incorporate other specifications and meet more recent network requirements. As of today, the most recent publication of this specification is Bridges and Bridge Networks defined in IEEE 802.1Q 2022. It is important to note that VLANs do not split a bridge or switch into multiple bridges, but rather it splits a large physical LAN into multiple small logical LANs called VLANs. This means it can be applied on a LAN consisting of a single bridge or multiple interconnected bridges that are part of the same broadcast domain. In this example, all users from marketing department belong to the green VLAN. Users in research and development belong to the blue VLAN. Users in IT belong to the red VLAN. And all IP cameras belong to the yellow VLAN. 
When a broadcast or unknown unicast frame is sent by a host on the blue VLAN, the switch will flood this frame to users on the blue VLAN only. For unicast communications, only devices within the same VLAN on the switch can communicate with each other. This technology is widely used in modern-day campus networks to isolate hosts. In practical applications, a switch that implements the VLAN technology must support the IEEE 802.1Q specifications and when configured will attach hosts to VLANs based on predefined rules. The switch should also have the capability to perform VLAN tagging and untagging, which means it can modify the original Ethernet frame it receives by adding a VLAN header. This resulting frame is called a .1Q frame. The creation of .1Q frames enables switches on a LAN to confine the frame within the tagged VLAN and determine how to process the frames upon reception which could be one of the following actions. Forwarding the frame with the existing tag, removing the tag before forwarding, or completely discarding the frame. In the next presentation, we'll discuss the VLAN headers and VLAN encapsulation process. Until then, please subscribe and turn on bell notifications. See you in the next one and thanks for watching.